Meet Wonder Robin, my favorite new Robin. It's Wonder Woman's daughter when she was a kid. Or, so we thought it was Wonder Woman's daughter, it's not her daughter. It's this girl right here, this Amazonian, who's supposed to be on par with Wonder Woman when she first was finna leave the island and shit. Emeli. We also found out what the lasso of lies can do. After Wonder Woman was picking up tanks and throwing them bitches like there was nothing at these soldiers, the old dude pulled one of the soldiers that was there and uh, pulled out the whip of, I mean, the lasso of lies and told them that they both got to hold it together. He tells us that that damn lasso has molded the fate of the country. So they both holding it right. And bro was like, it occurs to us that you may be mistaken, son. Your tussle with Wonder Woman was highly wondrous on you, perhaps even devastating. He's like, oh, sir, yes, that is true. It was, uh, I felt devastated. Yes, sir. If you don't understand, basically, you could tell a lie to somebody and they'll believe that lie like it's true. So he made him feel bad about losing a Wonder Woman, right? Made the man go home, write a note, then end itself, as you can see uh, under me. Now, let's find out what happens with Wonder Robin. So five years from uh, the current stuff that's going on in the current DC timeline, we meet up with Damien and Superman. They up here arguing about fucking uh, watching Lizzie. Damien don't want Superman to leave him there with her to watch her. And she, he's like, hey, I got to leave to go save this damn. She throws some food on his face. As she say, bitch. Superman like, hey, man, when uh, Diana find out that your ass taught her that shit, D Damien's like, hold on, Lizzie, Lizzie, you can't, listen, you can't say that word. That's a Damien and John word, a big brother word. You can't use those, right? Because if your mother, she'll strangle me with her. And he looked around, he's like, hey, wait, where's John? Disappeared on his ass like Batman. He was like, fucker. She was like, fucker. So he was like, fuck that. If he's going out, I'm going out. Father being off in another universe with his so-called friends does not equate to Gotham being unprotected. We'll just do this quickly. And remember, if anyone asks, I'm Robin. And you're Wonder Robin. I was in the clock. And he was like, all right, first superhero lesson. Wasting time gets you another kill. Get in. Let's go. My shoes aren't tied. I'll trip and fall. Then I'll be wasting time and I'll be dead. I don't want to be dead. It's stupid. Well, Lizzie, you're right. It is stupid. So why don't you, I don't know, tie them? And we can go and not waste time and not be dead. I, well, it's, you don't, I, I just don't, I, I don't know how, I don't know how to, to do it. <sighs> All right, second superhero lesson. Bunny years, bunny years, playing by a tree. Crisscross the tree, trying to catch me. Bunny years, bunny years, jumped to the hoe. Popped out the other side, beautiful and bold. My mother taught me that. I assumed I learned it the first time, but I tried to maneuver again. I made an error. The bunny did not cross the tree, I suppose. So my grandfather locked me in a box in the desert for a week without food or water. That's sad. Is it? I don't know. I remember him laughing. He wasn't sad. But if I get the lesson too wrong, you, you're not going to put me in the box in the desert with no water and food and stuff, right? Right? No promises. So later, you see in her cut, she like, what do I do? <laughs> you see fucking Damien fighting Killer Croc. He like, superhero lesson 37. In a team-up situation, if your partner in obvious better has the situation handled, allow him to handle it. <laughs> I think I should kick it. Lizzie, remember, lesson 23. The very important lesson. We went over this many times. <laughs> Killer the Croc, prepare for the kick of Wonder Robin. <laughs> kick! <laughs> Superhero lesson 23. Remember all the other vital lessons because I'm working hard to teach you. And if you don't listen, you're going to do something idiotic that gets us all in a heap of trouble. Important lesson that. Can I go back to sitting in the front on the way home? I swear I won't press the eject button again, even if it was funny when you were flying. So Superman gets to the house, Damien like, man, your ass wet as his ass drenched. She was like, man, it was some shit with God's sons. I mean, kids and shit, I don't know which one. Anyway, she done with the stare, uh, swearing and shit. She was like, no, she sharply kept her language under control. She did, however, kick Killer Croc in such a manner that we were required to bring him to Dr. Midnight. Croc's going to survive. Doc's fairly sure. He's like, what? how the hell did a five-year-old girl who was supposed to be eating her mac and cheese watch a show and go to bed kick a deadly Gotham serial killer with the skin and appetite of a crocodile? She didn't like the mac and cheese. It had crumbs on it. You're supposed to be watching her, bro. Do you know how much trouble your ass gonna be in? He's like, I taught her how to tie her shoes. You went to go play in the water with the gorilla. I got my case... Superman talking about some, maybe we don't have to tell Diana, like, the whole thing. Tch, you call yourself Superman, I assume the S stands for subterfuge. 
typical earth ignorance. The S, my friend, stands for hope. I don't know. Sure as don't stands for shut the fuck up. And that was the end of part one of World's Finest. How y'all feel about Wonder Girl? Y'all like her though, right? Right? <laughs>